Hello peeps, Hillbilly half with you today. Uh, gonna do a video like this today because I haven't got time to do the normal one. Uh, I see uh, yesterday, my prediction came true from the week before, remember? I predicted he'd go at uh, Keir Starmer, didn't like him. This is gonna be a thing that the Labour Party have done themselves to make him go. They'll have said to a couple of key people, keep him there till after the election, then move on him and get him from there. And that's what's happened. I didn't think Keir Starmer liked him. So I've had a few predictions, right? Anyway, um, it's nice to see him go, but I see he cried racism again. Never admitted to what he'd done. That's how these people have got into these, pl these places of power, by just ignoring others who say they've done wrong. Uh, this is the Welsh system. He's cries racism instead of looking at what he is. Is it basically an alleged crook and can't tell the truth. My nan always used to tell me, she's told me something many, many years ago when I was young and I've always remembered it. You tell one lie, you've got to tell nine to cover it up and that's the situation he's in. Um, I think the Labour Party now are in a bit of a pickle because they're going to either pick Jeremy Miles and he was in these conversations that I showed yesterday in my video as well with deleting messages or they're going to have to put, do another election because basically they've gone through the election with a leader that they knew they were going to remove, haven't they? So it's an election under false pretenses, really. So the people behind the leader of Wel Welsh Labour have put him forward as their leader, knowing well that he's a crook, and then asked people to vote for him. So I think, to be fair to Plaid Cymru to ask for an election is a good idea. Now, um, lots of things going on in Wales. Uh, this 30 mile an hour thing, they are doing something about it, but it's nothing really. When you think that 500,000 people voted, uh, sorry, signed a petition to have it quashed, they're just trying to um, shut people up by saying things are gonna happen, but it isn't really. What we uh, gotta say though is I'm still here. When I started uh, three or four months ago, uh, we had Drakey Boy in charge He's effing gone, isn't he? And Gethin came in there. He's effing gone as well, isn't he? And I think, I think the hillbilly half has had a good point, good uh, hand in that. Putting all this info out there of how bent and corrupt our Welsh government is. It's uh, lots of very wealthy people in a club there uh, who, don't, who haven't really got much upstairs using the system to keep getting what they want all the time. It, the system will fall eventually when people realise about it and hopefully my videos and others videos are helping to show the corruption of it all. Now um, I think the next thing people need to attack is this Sustrans because this Sustrans things is getting a hundred million pounds of our taxpayers money every year. None of them are elected they're all civil servant lackeys and nobody can stop this and they're deciding policy. These are think tanks. And uh, it's like being in some third world country with these people lording over you. And now they're telling us like we can't have, if you go to a place and somebody offers you a free cup of coffee after, you're not, they're not allowing the people to give you a free cup of coffee after you pay for one. This is dictatorial, authoritary stuff. Uh, that's what most of these people are. These people, like I say all the time, people who get into a high up office in the civil service, this is what they think. They want to have power over us, me and you. They want to stop us doing our, what we want to do. And we have, we have rights as a, individual people. We need to start moving against these people, showing what's going on, showing the money that these quangos are getting. Now, regarding the next leader in Wales, I don't know, I think Drakey may, may try and get back in myself because they can control it. They can control the guy. Um, 
not sure. But going on to something else now, I notice things are very weird with my social media at the moment. I hope you have noticed that lots of these comments are going missing. Uh, I actually been commenting on Facebook on something earlier and my comment didn't appear and it goes pending review. Just on a normal thing. And it wasn't nothing about anything political. It was just saying happy birthday to somebody. So I think there's some weird stuff going on. And I went on to um, TikTok. Like I told you, I put that video onto TikTok. You can go on there and follow me on there if you want. I've only got one video on it. But they um, removed that video. And then I complained about it and they reinstated it the next day. Uh, I've deleted it since and I've got another video up there. So um, some weird stuff going on and also with my subscribers as well. As you know, I know how many subscribers I have. And this last week, that one Trump video is almost like it's been switched off at the wall. And uh, the like stopped, at, sorry, the, the watches stopped at about 200, where they usually go to 1,000 e easy. So um, there we are. <laughs> so I'd just like to say thank you all for watching. Listen to the birds tweeting today in my beautiful farm. Look, I love my farm. I don't want any more. I just love my farm. So um, it's just a quiet one, a uh, quick one today about that. And like I say, never give up because small uh, little channels and I've got as much power as anybody else. If you've got the right true message, people share it out there. So thank you very much for sharing this stuff out there. And remember, I don't make a penny off these videos. I do it out of my own uh, money and I do it out of my own thoughts for having the right thing. So um, as I say, power to the people. And remember, Wilfy Smith... All them years ago, he'd be on our side now because the power has changed. No longer have we got these certain uh, left and right parties. We got parties joined together to keep the middle of society out. That's what I believe anyway. The middle of the road people now are being bullied by either side. So thank you very much for watching. Comment, rate and subscribe and hopefully have another video like normal tomorrow. Ta-da!